also drama for Michael Schumacher as he went towards his home Grand Prix at Hoffenheim. The situation being that Benetton did indeed appeal against the exclusion from the black flag and the exclusion from two Grand Prix. The appeal meant that he would in fact be allowed to race in his home country, which was probably just as well as the fans would have been rather upset if he hadn't. The fans were getting well behind the championship campaign of Michael Schumacher and there were even some death threats for Damon Hill, who ended up having to have a bodyguard throughout his time at the German Grand Prix. Well, remarkably enough, it was two Ferraris that dominated proceedings in qualifying. Gerhard Berger taking pole ahead of Jean Alesi. 150,000 spectators were cheering on one man. That was Michael Schumacher. And so to the start of the race and things going wrong right from the first moment, particularly at the back of the grid. Cars shooting off in all directions involving Andrea De Cesare, Alessandro Zanardi, Alberto Martini. Well, at the first corner, Mika Hakkinen coming off in a nasty accident with Mark Blundell and on the exit Johnny Herbert and Martin Brundle getting together more drama as John Lacey slows down on the exit of the first corner and we seem to have half the field decimated before we'd really got the event underway although many people expected the race to be stopped it was not in fact stopped it continued round in the meanwhile Damon Hill had had a coming together with Ukiyo Katayama trying to take third place he came into the pits to find that teammate Coulthard already there after he was involved in that first corner skirmish so up front we had a battle between the Ferrari of Gerhard Berger, the man who'd taken pole, and the local hero, Michael Schumacher, chasing in second position. Katayama was at this point in third position, but that wasn't to last for too much longer. A look at the start, and Hakkinen cutting across in front of everybody else. He would be excluded for one Grand Prix after the event because of his part in the accident. Out of the race goes Ukiyo Katayama, a disappointing end to what had been a promising qualifying performance. Up front, the battle's still going on between Gerhard Berger and Michael Schumacher, but the V12 power of the Ferrari certainly having the edge. Then, one of the most dramatic and frightening moments again of the Grand Prix season. Jos Verstappen's pit stop. A blazing inferno that even now on watching again catches you unawares and is incredible that everybody was able to basically get away from it unharmed. Let's watch it in slow motion once again. You see the fuel being sprayed about the car, and it's in fact on the brake discs, the very hot brake discs, that the fire erupts spontaneously, both front and rear. Well, there were arguments after this event, remember. Benetton were criticized for having removed a filter from that fuel line, which you can see being pulled away. In the end of the day, nothing was done about the fuel filter, which Benetton said they had been allowed to remove from the equipment. The main thing was that nobody was badly hurt, but once again, it showed the risks of refueling in a race. Meanwhile, back in the race, and Gerhard Berger now enjoying quite a healthy lead over Michael Schumacher in second place. But Schumacher soon in trouble. One of the few mechanical problems for him throughout the year, and he has to go out on the 20th lap. Makes life even more difficult in a way for Damon Hill, who was unable to take advantage of the situation, fighting his way back up the order, but he would only manage to finish in eighth place after those earlier dramas. Martin Brundle also out of the race with another broken engine. And meanwhile, the Ligier is going very well, holding on to second and third places. It's to be an historic day for the Ligier team and for Cesare Fiorio, newly joined as the team manager. But the Ferrari holds out for all 45 laps and Berger picks up his ninth victory of his career. The first for a Ferrari for four years. Jean Todd, sporting director of Ferrari, happy at last. The public consoles itself that at least it's a German-speaking driver on the podium, even if it's not their main hero. Panis and Bernard 